What's up, it's your boy Quinn Wade, basketball analysis coming to you with a quick NBA draft. I'm covering the draft. We're going to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers real quick in a five minute video. The first pick was a uh, toss up between D'Angelo Russell or Jay Okafor. They both skilled guys, best players in the draft for their positions other than Towns. And they took D'Angelo Russell to pair with Jordan Clarkson. This, I think they're going to play more at the shooting guard. So that way they can have Jordan Clarkson at the point guard. They do have a good backcourt future. They both below 25. They both can score. They both can pass. They both can shoot. I like the pick for them, even if they put them at point guard. Whatever they do with D'Angelo Russell is an NBA-ready scorer. He got the mindset to take over games. He got the mindset to adjust to the NBA. He got Byron Scott, who helped develop Jordan Clarkson along the season to keep helping him develop, to helping him get better and kill making them improve and he ended up be taking over and had a big mind of confidence and just start taking over the later part of the season. Jordan Clarkson just shine and it's only gonna help D'Angelo Russell with Byron Scott to develop him and help him improve and make adjustments into the NBA game. Just look what he did for Jordan Clarkson. It's gonna be a huge year for for D'Angelo Russell if he off the bench or starting as a point guard because of Kobe Bryant, depending on what they do with him. But this, he can be a six man or he's going to be the starting point guard. I don't know which one they're going to do because because of Jordan Clarkson. And I don't know if they're going to trade him or whatever going to happen. But as the roster built right now, is either Clarkson or Russell going to start. I like Clarkson over Russell because he already played in the NBA. And he already dominated the last half of the month, the last two months of the season. Putting up a lot of 20-point games, a lot of high assist games. He got comfortable. He got confident. And he's only going to be, be better next year. So I don't know who they're going to start. But I like Clarkson over Russell right now. But if they do let Kobe go or Kobe, whatever happened to them, I can see Russell being the sixth man off the bench or just start at shooting guard or put Kobe at the small forward. Next, we're going to talk about Larry Nance Jr. He is a 6'8 power forward. They had Martel Harrell and RJ Hunter already on the board, but they went with the athletic Larry Nance. He's a good player, a good mid-range specialist because they might lose Jordan Hill. They might give, let, let him go or they may let him walk. And Jordan Hill is already starting center. They actually need a bigger guy. And this also gives them insurance for Julius Randle just in case he's not healthy enough to come in and contribute or healthy enough next season or they just want to trade him for another player. They got an insurance policy in Larry Nance who's a 6'8 power forward, he's a senior, he's skilled, he's well-developed, he's coachable, and he makes adjustments as how the game's played. I like him, especially, like I said, for assurance of Julius Randle, just in case he's not healthy enough or just in case he's not ready to play yet. They got a backup power forward to help him. And Anthony Brown, this is a good pick for the 34th. This is really a good pick for the 34th. He is 6'6 small forward. He's a three-point specialist, and he's a good mid-range shooter, and he can defend kind of like Wesley Johnson, who had high potential but never realized it. He can defend. Byron Scott going to be hard on him. I think he's going to come in and play. This makes Wesley Johnson and all the other shooters, they going to have the him down there for some years, and those players only good for this year and probably – after next year, after this year, they probably going to be gone. So they actually got a three-point specialist to go with Clarkson, Russell, and now him to get that open space shooters to spread out the floor and knock down the threes and still get to the paint. So it's going to be a beautiful team L.A. is building right now with all these offensive players, even with Larry Nance. If they don't like Julius Randle, they end up trading them for DeMarcus Cousins or something. I like these picks right now. For the Lakers, the Lakers actually have a brighter future than people give them credit. They got a lot of money. They got four good rookies, and they just got, in, including Julius Randle because he got injured. They still got tons of cap space to move around. They got a lot of assets because they can trade these players to get better players. They can trade some of these players and for other players that's more veteran and ready to play in the NBA. The Lakers do have a bright future with Russell and Clarkson, Larry Nance, and a 6'6 small forward. I like the Lakers right now. And like I said, the best thing about them, they got a lot of money to spend to bring in more players. And they still got good point guards and guards in the backcourt and some solid small forward that can spread out the floor. I'm liking the Lakers right now with a future. They did very good this year draft. 
and they're only going to do better in free agency. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like this video, check out my older videos. If you like this video, like my older videos, subscribe. Quinway Basketball Nazis signing out. And a Lakers nation. I'm a Celtics fan. Oh, no. I'm liking the Lakers, how they build it as free agency. If free agency going to be big for them. But they did very, very good in this draft. Getting D'Angelo Russell and some more offensive players. Now they got to just draft some defense. That's the thing. Can these players turn into the defenders? Can Clarkson defend? Can Russell defend on the NBA level? Can Nance defend on the NBA level? Can a small forward they drive defend on the NBA level? That's going to be the question. They got the offense, but can they play collective defense? And that's something Byron Scott going to have to figure out. Can they defend on a high level for 82 games? That's the thing about young players. They don't like to play defense. They like to score. Can he get them to commit on the defensive end? That's the question for the Lakers in 2015 to 16.